Hello friends, in this video I will talk about the R Commander. R Commander is an interface that you can use for the R Studio and it allows you to make some statistical analysis or data analysis just using the menus actually. So you know in R we are just using the codes to make some data analysis. So we just give the data set and the variables and we write the codes and give the instructions, run the code and take the results. But here using the RCMDR packages, actually because it, it includes many packages, and using the R Commander screen uh, interface that you can make some statistical analysis. First, if you are trying to install the R Commander open the R commander for the first time then you need to install the RCMDR package with capital R so you'll use install packages RCMDR like that and then when you run the code then you will install the packages after installing the RCMDR then taking it to the library when you write the first three uh, letters actually for the package then it will appear here then you will you'll select it and take it to the library after you run then an R commander screen will be opened like that uh, so sometimes friends when you run the library code when you install the RCMDR for the first time when you run the library code you will see that it still uh, downloading something so uh, when you see the stop sign here then probably uh, there will be a warning uh, behind the screen just minimize your screen and find that warning and accept it and uh, you will download some extra packages and then accept it then uh, you will open the R commander screen so it may happen to your computer or to uh, your R commander. So when you find that type of error, then you can just solve it like that. So the R commander screen will allow you to take the data set and to make some statistical analysis with that data set. And of course, in the R script part, you'll find the codes of doing that statistical analysis so you can just copy the codes to the R studio screen and then use that codes later for the other data sets for the other variables etc so our commander actually will make it easier to make some statistical analysis with the R so here first I need to select the data set when I click here then I'm selecting the data set as I have one data set uh, in the environment part so I'll just select it but if I have more than one data sets then all the data sets will appear here I can select any of them when I click OK then it will allow me to make some statistical analysis with the data set but uh, first you need to check your data set for statistical analysis or data analysis so let's check for the type of the variables you see that we have a data set let me just explain the data set also student performance data set in the student performance data set we have the gender variable the race ethnicity the parental level of education lunch test preparation course so that lunch is having lunch or not free lunch or not in school test preparation course having a test preparation course before or not so zero and one so the math score reading score etc there are some different scores for that students so first we need to of course make some arrangements with the data set to make it ready for the statistical or data analysis the first thing I should do uh, with the student performance data set, I need to check the variable types. So I have the gender as a numeric variable, the race ethnicity as a character variable, parental level of education as a character variable, etc. 
You know, gender is a categorical variable actually. That zero and ones actually uh, are the labels for the male and female. So for the data set, we actually know what that zero means and one means. So we need to first um, just change the labels of that zero and ones. And then, uh, of course, we need to also change that gender variable from a numeric variable to a factor, so a categorical variable. Because if it's a numeric variable, then it's not possible to make uh, a t-test and a NOVA test or any, t any test that uh, we need some categorical variable. So I'll check my all variables and change if necessary. Uh, if I need to change something here, I need to do it first. So I will change that gender variable into a factor variable, race ethnicity variable into a factor variable. Again, this is a character variable you see. And launch also in a uh, categorical variable because this is also a categorical variable. Test preparation course, it's also a categorical variable. Math score, reading score are numeric variable. We don't need to check change anything with that variables so I, i'll just show how to change the numeric variable into a factor variable or character variable into a factor variable first i'm just taking the data set putting the dollar sign and selecting the variable equal i will use as factor as the code to turn that numeric variable into a factor variable again student performance and select the data set putting the dollar sign so with that code i'm actually turning the gender variable into a categorical variable okay when i run the code then run the str again then you'll find that the gender variable is a factor variable with two levels and we have the levels as zero and one so one of the levels is for male and the other level is for female actually here in that video we are not making some statistical or data analysis so i will not go into deeper uh, for that data set i'll just try to show the r commander screen so this is necessary actually to make some uh, data set to make a uh, data analysis for the variables we need to turn to vari variables into uh, their real uh, actually categories so after we change the we make the necessary arrangements with the data set and if the data set is ready for making statistical analysis then we can come to the statistics part but after we make some changes with the uh, variables here as we have just one data set normally if you have more than one data set when we click here it allows you to select the data set again so actually you are updating the data set but if not if you just have one data set it's not possible to click here again so you will come to the data and the active data set refresh the active data set so refreshing it means you are updating the data set so the gender variable is not a numeric variable anymore so it's a factor variable okay so here you can check the data part so import the data also we have the menu here so we are not using that uh, menu too much data in packages active data set so you can view the active data set select active data set refresh it set case names subset active data set sort active data set so there are many things that to do with the current data sets and mostly we are using that statistic part in the statistic part we use the summaries so numerical summaries frequency distributions count missing observations table of statistic correlation matrix correlation test etc there are many different uh, tests or analysis to make here for the summaries for example let's just check for the frequency distribution of the gender variable 
okay when i click ok it will just give me the result here in the console part i'll just delete the console part and come to the r commander part select the code here and copy it here then when i just run the code again it will give for the gender so how many uh, zeros so males we have in the gender variable and how many females we have in the gender variable also the percentages okay so we can create a frequency table for a categorical variable and here in the summaries you can just have some numerical summaries also let's just check for the numerical summaries for example i'm having the uh, reading score and i'm also summarizing the reading score sorry by the gender variable and in the statistic part the mean standard deviation interquartile range are selected i can select the frequency counts the standard error of uh, means etc so i just want to check the standard deviation uh, mean and standard error of the mean so when i click ok then it also gives me the codes i can just copy the code here and put the codes here so i can then for example change the variable from the data set student performance here just using that code or i can ch change the statistics part mean standard deviation standard error etc i can add any other test here uh, also i can change the group not gender but any other uh, categorical variable so here you see the result the mean of the first group for the reading score the mean of the second group for the reading score also standard deviations standard error of the means and also how many observations we have in the first category and the second category also there are many good graphs to create so we can create the dot plot histogram box plot scatter plot scatter plot matrix uh, strip chart bar graph pie chart etc so there are many different graphs also in the statistic part of course there are means so you can make a t-test ANOVA uh, ANCOVA etc the proportions single sample proportion test variances uh, two variances f test bartlett test the levan test non-parametric test also wilcoxon kruskalvalis friedman dimensional analysis you can make a sky reliability principal component analysis and fit models you can make a linear regression generalized linear model multinomial logit model etc okay too many different uh, analysis that possible to make with the R commander in the models part also you can just change the select the active model summarize the model compare the model coefficients etc okay as we didn't create any model so it's not possible to select that parts but when you create a model then it's uh, this part will be active and you can make some uh, different data analysis with the R commander so you see that R commander allows us without using the R codes it's possible to make some data analysis and also it gives you all the codes any data analysis that you made with the menu so you can copy that code here to the R console and then you can change the variables the data set etc to make some new data analysis so you don't need to search on internet or you don't need to uh, search for any different codes and uh, how to change the uh, commands in the codes actually so our commander is a very useful tool actually for the R studio